welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you are new, welcome. This is my YouTube channel. My name is Shantanique. I hope that you take time out to subscribe to my channel. I do upload videos three times a week on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 4. Um, so yeah, subscribe, tune in, turn on your notification bell. We have fun over here. Um, also, make sure you follow me on Instagram, um, at Shantanique. I love to interact with you guys on Instagram, so follow me there. Big news, we just reached 3,000 subscribers. I'm super excited about it. Um, thank you all for supporting my channel and for tuning into my content, for commenting, for emailing me, for sending me Instagram DMs for the likes for everything. I really appreciate it. I was super excited to hit 3000. Um, that was a personal goal and a milestone for me. So I can't wait to see how much we continue to grow and how many more goals we knock out. This is a highly requested video. A couple of weeks ago, I did purchase the Pochette Matisse from Louis Vuitton. I did upload a uh, video an unboxing video of me just opening the purse and just kind of showing you guys what it looks like um, and giving my ultimate review so this is what everybody has been waiting for um, I am going to do a what's in my bag and show you guys what I keep in my pochette Matisse I've only had this bag now for I think two or three weeks but I love it I've been using it consistently Obviously, we're on quarantine, so I haven't been going anywhere besides the grocery store. Um, but when I do go to the grocery store or when I'm just on a mission, I'm getting in and out of the store, I like to use it as a crossbody. Um, when I'm getting in and out of the car, I like to use it by the handle. Any other time, I'm using the long strap and I'm just wearing it as a traditional shoulder bag. So if you are interested in seeing what I keep in my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, keep watching. So we'll start with the outside of the bag. I like to start with this back pocket. Typically, I keep my phone in the back pocket. Right now, I'm using my phone as a remote for my camera, so it's not in there. Um, but I have the, I think this is like the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It is the latest iPhone and it's the biggest iPhone. I think it's the Pro, yeah, it's the big one. I think it's called the Pro Max. They, they come out with so many phones, I can't even remember. But it fits perfectly in my little pouch. And let me just show y'all to give you a visual. It's no struggle or anything when I put it in my purse. I literally just, it's not all the way in, but I literally just slide it in there there I literally just slide it in there and it fits when I'm out and about I leave this unzipped because I pull my phone in and out of my purse and touch it and look at it and text and do everything a million times a day when I'm out so this is perfect that it fits in this pouch that is the only thing that I keep in this back compartment I don't think I'll keep anything else back there now let's actually go into the bag um, so it's not full. Um, I don't carry around a lot of stuff. So this size works perfectly for me. It's just enough space for me to have everything I need and a couple of things that I want. So, so far so good. We'll start with this back pocket. I didn't clean my purse out or anything, but I've only had this bag for a few weeks, so it shouldn't be dirty. And I'll just kind of show you guys what I have in this back pocket. I have a small little comb. So right now I have a bun, but usually when I'm wearing my hair down or if I have a sew-in, I always like to make sure everything is in place so I keep a comb in my purse. Um, and I also carry this around. Um, I keep this in my purse. Um, no matter which purse I have, this is a staple. This is like my wallet. Um, my best friend Crystal actually gave this to me in honor of my aunt who passed away um, June 2019 from pancreatic cancer. This is the purple ribbon, which represents pancreatic cancer, and I carry it with me everywhere. So, yep, that's in the back pocket. And then you guys saw that I pulled out this little pouch, and girl stuff is in this pouch. So, I have some tampons, some panty liners, um, <laughs> some Kleenex, I have 
a makeup wipe. Um, that's pretty much it. Tampons, panty liners, a makeup wipe, and Kleenex. I like to keep all of that in a little pouch so that when I open my purse, my goodies aren't exposed. I always keep that stuff separate in a different pouch. So that is what I have in the third pocket. On to the middle pocket. I have my Louis Vuitton card holder. Y'all, this is like my best friend, to be honest with y'all. I have all of my cards in here. On the other side, I have two Chick-fil-A little um, Be Our Guest cards. So, you know, if they mess up your order or do something wrong, they'll give you these. And I commend Chick-fil-A because they've been going hard, but they've also been messing up my order. So I had like five of these. I'm down to two. But anyway, that's besides the point. I absolutely love this Louis Vuitton card holder. My dad got it for me last year for my birthday. This is just my go-to. Like I grab it, I go. If I'm going to the store real quick and I don't want to carry my purse, I bring this. I also keep my driver's license. Um, I keep my driver's license in the middle part. So I have it, literally, I have everything I need in this thing. Multiple debit cards for my bank accounts, Chick-fil-A, which is a necessity, and my license. So that's in the middle piece. And I did all that talking about the card holder. <laughs> and I also have the big Louis Vuitton wallet. This is the Josephine wallet. I absolutely love this wallet. This is more so of an everyday wallet. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that Darian actually gifted me this wallet um, when he went to Paris. So it used to be hot stamped with the Eiffel Tower, but someone stole my purse and stole that wallet. So this is actually a replacement. Obviously, I got it from Atlanta. I didn't go back to Paris, so it's not hot stamped, but it does still have my initials. So if you are walking around with this Louis Vuitton wallet and it's hot set with Paris and it has CC and your name is Nicole, it's mine. But I'm going to let you live, sis. It's no big deal because I got a replacement. And when I go back to Paris, guess what? I'm going to get it hot stamped. But this is my Josephine wallet. I have a couple of coupons from Kroger. They mail me coupons all the time. Um, this also has a little change compartment that comes out. I have it in the rose ballerine color. I think this pink color is just so pretty. Um, but I keep all of my change. All of my changes in here. And then down here is where I keep my card. So I have another copy of my driver's license. Don't ask why I have two copies of my driver's license. Um, but this is my health insurance stuff. I have some gift cards right here and then I have some credit cards back there. So for all of you who are wondering if the standard Louis Vuitton wallet can fit in the pochette Matisse, the answer is yes. It fits perfectly in the bag. Literally just slide it in. In the front pocket, I'll just kind of take things out and show you what's in here. I've been having migraines lately, so I have some Tylenol that I keep with me. <laughs> More Kroger coupons. I need to get this organized and put these in my wallet. I have my hand sanitizer. This is a necessity. This pouch is from Bath & Body Works. I got this pouch a couple years ago. Um, I also carry this pouch with me everywhere simply because... I mean, it has hand sanitizer in it, but it also has a butterfly charm on it. Um, my aunt who passed away in February of 2012 was obsessed with butterflies. We had butterflies all over her, you know, home going celebration. It's all over her grave. So every time I see a butterfly, I think of her. So this is the little piece of her that I keep with me. Um, and it just so happens to be on my hand sanitizer pouch but this pouch is from Bath and Body Works absolutely love it it's super sleek um and you know it's it's adult I don't like the little kitty ones but I do have a hand sanitizer in here and this one is marshmallow fireside I have a million of these because I've always just been the type to carry hand sanitizer around so 
keep that in the front pocket um <laughs> i also have these mitts my boyfriend's mom got these to me it just says one a day keeps the doctor away but it has a wine glass on it and it's just some little mitts that she gave me um they're shaped like a wine glass i think she gave us this for valentine's day yeah it was in a cute little box so i keep that um gotta keep some hand lotion this is the hydrating hand cream in the rose water scent this is also from bath and body works gotta have it because i'm always ashy <laughs> i have a lip gloss from sephora this is one of my favorite lip glosses i don't even know the color of it oh it's flowers in her hair and it is the colorful gloss bomb if you haven't tried sephora's brand of makeup and lip gloss and makeup brushes you sleep because their lip gloss their lip gloss their eyebrow um pencil and their brushes bomb good old carmex so i have some of that in here this is another one of my favorites this is the menthol lip shine and this is from bath and body works if you haven't used bath and body works lip gloss you sleep wake up this is one of the best lip glosses I've ever had, I've ever tried. I have so many of these. So yeah, get you one, sis. Um, and then I have two lip colors. One is the NYX lingerie line, and this is in Lipley number three. It's a matte lipstick. So if I'm feeling fancy and I don't have nothing else, this new is gonna do. And I have the Morphe lip shine in boho and this is literally just the shiny version of this this is matte nude and this is shiny nude um so yeah once the world opens back up i'm gonna pick up a small little bag to keep my lip glosses in just because i don't want anything to burst or be open or ruin the inside of my bag so yeah if you have a nice designer bag I highly suggest that you keep your lip products inside of another container instead of just putting them in the purse. You guys will also notice that I don't have a pen. I'm probably one of the few women in the world who don't carry a pen or a pencil around. I do not want a pen to burst in my purse. I keep a pen in my car. That's it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to borrow one because I rarely need to use a pen to write. But in the event that I did, I wouldn't have one. So. so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you can see, I can keep my whole little life in my pochette Matisse. Like I said at the beginning, I've only had this purse for about three weeks. But so far, I am in love with it. I will probably come back and do a six-month review. Um, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up like share with your friends and subscribe to my channel also be sure to follow me on instagram until next time 